The day she told me she had anxiety, I thought about when my mom would lock herself in the room when the weight of the world seemed like a little too much. I never knew what to do. I wanted to tell her that life is full of really scary things and calling it anxiety is pointless because whenever I feel like I'm losing my mind, I call it Tuesday. I wanted to show her the places my late night drives take me. I wanted to show her the best hiding spots in the warmest corners of my mind, if I could find any. She spoke softly. I wanted to tell her that her scars match her smile and that we're all a little bent and snapped. Humans weren't meant to break, but here we are, defying what we thought was only a metaphor. Falling apart can be peaceful. But I didn't say anything to her. I listened to her insecurities fall from her mouth like leaves fall to the ground slowly, waiting to be caught. She told me nothing good happens after 2 a.m. People fall in love after 2 a.m. People fall out of love after 2 a.m. I fell in love with her at 9 a.m. when she walked past me for the first time. I didn't need a hello or deep conversations about colors over dinner. I just needed her existence. She stands at about five foot six inches, brown hair and eyes that make you feel noticed. Her smile makes moments into memory. She laughs like life is worth living. Her voice lives in, in every empty room. She's not the best singer, but she's worth the listen. She had a fascination with leaves, pretty words, owl earrings, and those sour gummy worms that all taste the same. But she swears they don't. Her favorite book has never felt a day of loneliness. She tells a story to anyone who says they'll listen. Her shoulders carry the weight of insecurities and lessons learned. I've seen her break into hundreds of pieces and walk away without the need to pick them up. She doesn't need another guy to use her heart as a welcome mat, so she locks her doors and hides away in her castle. She's her own fire-breathing dragon, and she waits for the day someone doesn't mind getting burned for her. She's smart. I've learned to respect her as a work of art, not a masterpiece. She's too good to hang in a museum. She's the type of art you write about and hope someone will find her worth reading. I've read her story and left my impression on a few pages. I hope she knows I never stopped reading. I even sat back and listened to the parts that weren't so pretty, she's beautiful. You have to read every page to understand her. I spend every night awake, waiting for 2 a.m. When her touch leaves my body, when I'll no longer feel her fingers clawing at my memories, but it was 9 a.m. when I fell in love. Not the middle of the night. It's been years of her and I, me and her. I love yous and I hate yous. Arguments and kissing, crying and laughter, hellos and goodbyes, him and her, lovers and lovers, jealousy and insecurities, pushing and pulling, but people like us, don't stop loving. Wow. Yeah.